Hey, what's up guys? So, funny story, I was getting some oil at Walmart and um, on the way out, uh, I had a guy approach me, uh, I guess his car uh, broke two studs, two wheel studs. Um, I guess he saw my RSX or something like that, assumed that I, you know, might know somebody or maybe work on cars myself. So he asked me if I could help him out and I said, oh yeah, you just need your wheel studs replaced. Shit. So here I am at Walmart just uh, doing a usual day and now I'm doing a wheel, st wheel stud job. So here, let's look at that. So here I am. Uh, this is a Honda Accord with a H23 in it. Uh, so these studs pretty much are all bad. Um, I'm uh, the uh, owner is inside Walmart right now getting uh, a hammer so we can hammer these uh, studs out because you know my mallet can't. It's rubber, so when you're hitting it with the rubber, it's going to give in and push in and not put all the force on the stud. So. Um, that's where I'm at with this right now. Um, I'll check you guys later. But yeah, random acts of kindness. Pass it on, folks. What's up, YouTube? Um, I got a DIY for you. Um, but re I actually already completed the job, but um, I wanted to put this online because I didn't see anybody have a DIY for it when I was trying to do it. So um, basically, if you watched the transmission video, I explained that a 0 02 to 04 transmission has a different speed sensor location and it doesn't read off the drive shaft. Um, so if you put like, let's say an 0 02 to 04 transmission into the 05 06 transmission of an RSX, basically the speed sensor pigtail won't even fit. And then your ECU, your 0506 ECU can't read the speed or the cluster can't read the speed of your uh, transmission or your speed sensor. So um, what we did um, for this 05 uh, Acura RSX Type S, um, we got a Dakota uh, Universal uh, Speed Interface, I think it's called. It's the SGI dash 5e or something like that um let me show you what i did here with the wiring <clears throat> okay so the wire is a little janky right now all that will be tidied up later but um as you can see this is the harness part of the 0506 vss or speed sensor basically i use the feeds from there i use the um I don't know if it can focus on this. Okay, there we go. So you see the red and the yellow, or I think that's more of a yellow. So it's a yellow red is um, basically the, uh, I think the yellow black on the 0204 harness. The green white is the ground on the 0204 harness. And of course the blue, the solid blue here on the 0506 is the same as the um, blue-white on the, uh, I think it, on the uh, 0, 0204. So what I did was, um, I wired the, let me focus, sorry, sorry guys, come on focus. Focus camera. Alright, there we go. So what I did was I used the yellow red and I tied it to our new pigtail. I got another uh, we got another pigtail for the O2. You can kind of see it down there. The O204 pigtail. He actually got it off of a base. He got it from uh, a base out the junkyard. DG Civic. Oh, it was a what the Civic? DG Civic, yeah. It was a 1992 Civic you got that off of? And it fits? Okay guys, I'm actually quite surprised. I didn't expect that. So he got it off at EG Civic. 
and uh, the speed sensor apparently fits the uh, speed sensor connection on the 0204 RSX's. So basically, the uh, yellow black I fed to the yellow red here. The ground I fed to the uh, white green here on the 0506, and the solid blue I had to send it back to the Do Dakota uh, Dakota interface. And I'll go show you that in the car right now. Okay, guys. This is the uh, universal speed interface from Dakota Digital. Uh, Dakota Di Digital. So that's it. The SGI5E. So I took power from the IG1 on the ECU. That's the ignition switch. So that's a switch 12 volts. The ground I just grounded right there on the ECU as well. I grounded it where the screw is. And basically I fed the uh, signal in with the new pigtail that's on the uh, what's on the uh, transmission right now. That's the pigtail that's connected in there. So um, basically this Dakota is getting a speed signal. From the pigtail the new pigtail that we had to go get and I feed it from this Dakota digital all the way back on the output 4 I'm using output 4 guys so output 4 all the way back to where I deep in the um, 0506 uh, VSS connector so basically the output 4 allows a um, a low voltage to high voltage so that not just the size is different on the 0506s to the 0204s basically it's the voltage that is different the the way that the it communicates to the ECU so the way the 0506 works is you get a high voltage frequency signal sent to the ECU from the VSS and then from the ECU, it sends a low voltage frequency, or a low frequency, I think it's low frequency or it's a low voltage, Not no, yeah, low frequency signal is sent to the, um, to the cluster. So, in the 0204, the VSS sends a low frequency signal to the ECU, and then it's another low frequency signal to the cluster. So what you got to do is you got to use this machine right here, or this device, sorry, to convert this low frequency signal sent from the transmission, since there's an 0204 transmission in here, and then output a high frequency signal to um, the ECU. So I have a low frequency that comes in, and then a high frequency that comes out and goes to the ECU so the ECU can read a speed and send it to the cluster. So that is the way it works. And basically what we just had to do right before I started filming this is um, you're going to, on this model, I don't know about any other model, so you have, you have to reference the 5E, SGI 5E. Basically before you turn the key on, start holding the set. So you hold the set, turn the key, and then it'll show you the version number. You can release the set. So I release it. And then it shows me an out right here. It'll read out. And then I will hit set again to make it say it'll show a uh, like a, the settings, the current output, which is like H to L or L to H. Basically on this, you want a L to H. So... I put it to L to H, um, which also requires you to be on output four. And then we get on the highway and I start calibrating with this. So this will increase the speed. So once you get on the highway, I either use a buddy and drive right next to him and calculate your speed that way. Or you can be in 2019 and you can use a GPS, uh, speed reader like on your phone or something and then just calculate it from there and make it match what your phone says your gps speed is 
and you just keep hitting the plus button and the plus button and the plus button until you get to the correct speed and then that's how you'll do it so yep it is possible to run a 02 to 04 transmission in a 05 to 06 rsx type s all right guys that's all i got for you this time check you out later